May your days be merry and bright. And of course, from all of us weather nerds here at the Weather Network, may your Christmas be extra white. Welcome into the Long Ranger, not just any Long Ranger, a Christmas version. Come on and sit by the fire with me. It's pretty cozy. I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Woodall. The question is, is did you need one of these over the holidays? Probably not because we've been so extremely mild with rainstorms, heavy rain, mild temperatures into the double digits. So where do we go from here as we get into the long range into the new year? I love this time of year when people say, see you next year. And it's like two days from now. Yeah, as we head into 2015, a big pattern change. You heard Dr. Doug Gill talk with me last week about this. It's still the case. So let's talk about it. Let's look at some of the model data and uh, we'll get you prepared as we get into the rest of your holiday season. So this is a look at December 1st right through to today, Christmas Day, the orange representing way above seasonal. In fact, so many right across Canada saw a green Christmas as a result of these temperature anomalies. As we get into the new year, December 28th through to January 3rd, we've been talking about that shift in our jet stream. So that jet stream diving way down to the south, even bringing cold temperatures for snowbirds that are making their way down to Florida. So get ready for it. It's going to be a big a cold air outbreak. Colder temperatures means temperatures something like this. So this is one model that is predicting this green, this darker green and the lighter green. That's minus 30. So look at that right through the better part of the prairies. And again, it really mimics that jet stream pattern as that cold air digs south. As we look into why this occurs, well, we know that usually Arctic high pressure uh, usually means sinking air, no real storms, and sometimes can be very, very cold. Now, we get high pressure in the summer, but if we get uh, high pressure that brings in polar air masses or Arctic air masses, we can get really, really cold temperatures. This one is 1,058 as far as its central pressure. That's a strong high. The record was in Siberia, Russia at 1,083, so comparable. Thing is, we cool down for the first uh, week of January, but as the third week rolls around, we might be in for another warm-up. You're watching the Weather Network, Canada's number one source for accurate weather forecasts.